I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to send a MailChimp email to just one person. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it depending on what the scenario is that you're working with. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, sign up for my email list, and let's get into it. For our first scenario, we are going to be taking an email that we already sent and sending it to one more person. Maybe they just joined your list, they haven't seen it yet. This is what we're going to do. So I'm going to take this survey email, go over here to the right hand side and replicate it. Now I'm going to edit my recipients. Under segments and tags, I'm going to go to group or new segment. And then if you'll notice right here, it says paste emails. And this is where I'm going to put in that email. Now, if you'll see down here, it says, I want to include that email in here. This was also where you could put an email that you didn't want to receive an email and I'm going to save it. And then I'll head right back up here and check the number of recipients. I always check this number just to make sure I did things properly. And then you would go ahead and send it. The second way to send out an email one at a time is by using an automation with a tag. So this would be, you would set up an email that would go out automatically. Anytime someone is added to a certain tag, a tag is like an internal label. So anytime someone gets that label, they'll get the email. And this is best if you have something like a welcome email where you don't have the contacts yet, but as they get added in, you want this email to get sent again. This will help you avoid having to keep replicating and sending emails one at a time. This way it'll be handled automatically. This here is an automation that I set up in the classic automation builder where the trigger is that when they get added to the tag email marketing links download, they will receive this email. If you want to learn more about how to create this automation, I have a video about that and I will tag it here and here. And now let me show you how to add people to this tag one at a time. I'm going to go to the audience menu and then import contacts right from here. You can, you can upload a whole CSV file, but you can also copy and paste email addresses right into here. When I click organize, I'm going to have them subscribed and I'm going to update them in case they're already in my list and I'm going to continue to tag. And now this is where I would add the tag. I've already created my tag. So it's right here and continue to match. It's that one email address and I'm going to import it complete import. And then just like that, because I have the automation already running, they would receive that email. Let me show you one more way to do it on the back end. If you're going to be entering email after email, kind of one at a time, but you need them to have a tag, I like to create a landing page for that. Landing pages are traditionally used for, for you to like collect email addresses for a mailing list, but you can use them internally here. And I think it works really well from a process standpoint. I'm just clicking on the simplest landing page because it doesn't matter because you're the only one seeing it or your staff or whoever is entering the email addresses. If you want to learn how to build a nice looking landing page, I have a video for that too. You can go ahead and click the links, but the most important thing is this right here. So this is our sign up form. You'll click what fields you want filled out, save it. And then we're going to go to the back end part of it. I named it here. And if you look right here under audience and tags, you can make it so that anytime someone comes through this landing page, they get that tag. And what we'll do is we'll publish it and it will give us this URL. This is our landing page. Anytime you enter someone's email address into this form, they will be tagged with the tag that starts that automation and they'll get that email. Well, there we go. I know that I referenced a couple other videos in there, so I'll make sure to link everything. Maybe I'll even throw them here for you. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, put them in the comments. I will be checking them and I'll see you around.